All right, hey Gemini, so you guys, I am doing Mercury retrograde read, and pretty much this will either be your content or you're gonna wanna check your other placements, you guys. And if you're new, um, I'm gonna start gifting up to three people a week a free read for those who decide to interact and are subscribed and comment on my videos, um, as well as to you who have been here. All right, so it's just my way of um, giving back to you guys. And we're going to pull the highlights of the past, present, and future. And then we're going to see what work, what is happening with work, money, finances, stability, um, just the material side of things. We're going to do relationships. And then we're going to see where your self-care and, you know, your, your self health has been. And we're going to see where this is going to go after Mercury goes direct. So June, this will be until June 3rd, the energy you may experience. And then we're going to see what's happening after, after that. So, um, cards have been pre-shuffled. I'm just going to go ahead and start. All right. So as far as, okay, so here's what we got. I kind of feel like this energy is pretty positive overall. You have the Empress, you got the Three of Coins, you have the Knight of Wands. Um, so I kind of feel like, if anything, you could have been experiencing, you know, in the past, um, a little bit of uh, frustration, energy um, all over the place, you know, making decisions caused in haste or acting in haste. Um, you know, um, but this energy all drops so positively, Gemini. Um, it's like even if you were um, experiencing some little uh, tiny trials when it comes to your energy, it's like it's all coming. Um, it's all coming around. Okay, you know it will be. It's like um, you know what the, the phases that we go through when it comes to life and how we can let negative um, energy and emotions affect us. I feel like for you, it's like been very very minimalistic. Um, as far as your energy goes. And I feel like you're kind of being recognized for that too. Um, because the, the Knight of Wands actually did drop in reverse, which is somebody who's has, a, is just full of energy, full of passion, somebody who's taken inspired action to make accomplishments and achievements, you know? Um, so it could be that you guys are just the, the, the one Zodiac right here. That's, that knows how to kind of really, um, be in tune with yourself when, you know, we have these uh, retrograde seasons, right? Um, and I just feel like where energy is shaping is into this empress mode right here. So abundance, new beginnings, you got love coming through security, comfort, the feeling of home, you know, um, you, this right here, it's like, I almost feel if any of you guys have been trying to do some self-improvement when it comes to the way you're thinking and the way you're putting your energy out there, it's really, it's going to pay off in really big ways. All right. So I feel like overall you guys, yeah, you have a healing vibe about you. That's where things have been. And I feel like it's only going to get better. You know, um, it could be that you have your typical off day with this Knight of wands, but I don't feel like it stunts any growth of any self-improvement. So let's just see what your energy has been like as far as finances, business, wealth, abundance, um, the material, financial aspects of life. All right. So what you're currently, um, what you're currently finding. Okay. So, okay. So you guys could have, um, you, you could have suffered some sort of loss. Okay. And it could have been caused by this Knight of wands. Um, I kind of feel like if you guys have experienced a job loss, you may have found something since then. Um, because the, the three of swords is a representation of um, heartache. It's loss. So it could be that some of you guys in the past recently, because of this Knight of Wands energy, it could have been because it, it could have been this loss is, is the loss of a job, um, career, business, clients, whatever. Um, and I feel like there's an imbalance that you're suffering from when it comes to success. There's like, um, this right here is unequal energy. Um, this is imbalanced energy. So we're focusing on business career in that aspect. It could just be that, you know, with the Hierophant card coming through, this is a card of order, stability, and rules. Okay. And when it comes to suffering loss, it's almost like that there was a negate, a negated aspect when it comes to the order rules and stability. Um, I almost feel like something maybe was unfairly played out, but what I'm going to say about this energy because of the overall aspects it could be that you guys recently got a new job or recently um, have come back into um, union, all right, with the career focus, um, no matter what scale it is. I kind of feel like you've suffered through a loss 
but I, I can't help but feel like you already know that, that the events are turning in your favor. You can see it because it's starting to happen. So um, the retrograde actually started May 10th. So there could have been an imbalance that you were suffering um, as far back as May 10th. But then it's like we're coming into the mid period. And it's almost like what I kind of see is there's a transformation or a transition and happening here. And I feel like you're already experiencing that when it comes to the work dynamic. Okay. Um, so let's just see where it fully moves into when it comes to, um, Mercury being in, in a direct after June 3rd. All right. So yeah, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles wanted to pop in. So you guys, where you've experienced lack, where you've suffered loss, especially when it comes to your finances or clients or business, um, even if you've gotten a whole brand new entire job, what I can see is that this, the new shift that you may or may not have stepped into is going to put you probably in a better position than you were experiencing beforehand. Yep, look at that. You have the five of coins where, where you had suffered loss. Look at it, it's almost like you got incoming news. It's almost like somebody's asking you to come back or it could be something new that's um, trying to grab your attention, all right? But I do feel like you're gonna hear um, more about this uh, potential gain. Um, I feel like you guys potentially, yeah, you could have, uh, so if you guys got fired or you quit a job, um, it, because of, uh, just acting out of haste, what I feel is happening is, um, the dynamic it's going to shift in your favor, but I feel like for some of you guys, you might be faced with a choice because you could actually already start, you could already have started a job. Okay. And I feel like you might be torn between two. I feel like you might have a focal point coming in the future where you're going to be faced with the decision to keep what you have or to take back what is coming towards you. The page, you know, this is like a, a it's an incoming offer. And I'm going to say this, if you guys are, are just not, um, you're, if you're not, totally resonating with the job loss gain and then somebody coming back what i'm going to say is what what's been taken from you is going to um, manifest itself back together so if you guys are worried about looking for a job or work it, you have incoming news so your financial suffrages is not going to be very long and i kind of i kind of feel like for whoever is here you know that like whoever is here you you are the um you're, you 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 already know you already know how life is going to go for you. Um, Whoever is here, I'm going to say this. I feel like you're um, secure enough in your your field that it's like I can go get a job whenever I want. I'm almost feeling that dynamic come through here. Um, and I feel like you're just really simply not even really worried about it. Yes, something was taken away from you. It kind of stung for a minute, but you know, it's going to come back tenfold. And that's exactly the energy you're heading into after June 3rd. So it's like, it might be a minor setback, but it's very, very minimalistic. So let's just see what your relationship um, sector looks like. The relationship sector. We have the emperor card coming through. Um, oh, the, Okay. And we got options. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. I kind of feel like if if so again, it's like I just see the the same dynamic. I feel like you guys could actually be dealing with somebody from the past and somebody new coming through. It could just be several options. It could be several people kind of coming back right now. Okay. Um, the seven of, of cups is about options. So it, I'm gonna say this. If I'm talking to a very highly single person, which I kind of feel like I am, um, I'm gonna say this you if you got people coming from the past if you got people coming from the side from the front you know from the left from the, the if, i just kind of feel like you got a lot of options coming through uh what i'm going to say is you're, you're going to want to stick to the choices that fill your heart and your soul that feed you um something amazing okay some of you guys um, it's like you know your value you know your worth um and it's like choose the one that fill that fills you um that, that feeds your soul you know um, some of you guys could actually be just having two people come through. One could be um, a very, very deep soul connection and one can make you really feel like you're, you know, um, really, really just comfort on all levels. The seven of cups is indecisiveness. So I kind of feel like you guys could have something from the past coming back. that's kind of impeding on something new that you're trying to, to get started with. Okay. But, um, this right here is also recognizing who's the one that touches your soul. You know, um, who's the one that you just really, you, you just, you adore that you can't let go of. Um, you know, is it worth kind of, because what I kind of see here is the soul connection could be somebody from the past and you thought it was done and over with while this new person comes through and yes, they fill you up 
up, but not like this one did over here, you know, and some of you guys could be faced with the, that vice versa situation. So I guess what I'm going to say is with that energy coming through, you got to, you got to look out for your own heart first, but also it's important to choose the one that's going to feed you to your fullest. All right. So let's just see what your self care looks like. The self care, self love. We have the, so you got conflict coming through. I feel like that's probably in the mental, yeah. You, so I was kind of seeing that. You guys might feel like you're a player right now, okay? <clears throat> you have the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Swords. I feel like right now you're very conflicted. I'm probably a little um, introverted right now, having a low sense of self, maybe even questioning your own self-respect. Um, so what I'm going to say is for whoever's here, I do not feel like you're a player, but I feel like you feel like you're a player. All right. Um, and it could be that you feel bad because you think you're stringing people along because you're not ready to make any decisions out of haste. Okay. You got to Here's what I'm going to say. You're not a player. You're not doing anything wrong. You need to be direct with all parties involved. So nobody gets hurt. Um, and if somebody leaves, um, because they can't consider, you know, you contemplating and thinking about your future. If you are not directly connected or committed to anyone, you need to get and you need to get it all out on the table. All right. For the sake of your mental health, um, for the sake of yourself, you know, um, I kind of feel like you might be conflicted, but really what this energy is saying is you're not as bad as maybe what you're projecting onto yourself, you guys. Okay. So let's just see where this energy, and I feel like this right here is having a battle in the mind space. Um, so you're not, there's nothing wrong with what you're doing, you guys. Um, I just feel like you're beating yourself up for kind of how you're handling the romantic situation. I can't help but feel it's very, very strongly connected to this dynamic. And what I'm going to say is, well, first of all, we're going to see where the future of this mental health thing comes through, but you're also, you're not doing anything wrong as long as you're not committed. Now, if you guys are committed and you're cheating actively, um, you know, by talking, building an emotional bond or by physically, then it, I feel like it's, you know what to do you know what to do to kind of save your your headspace okay so let's just see where this energy is going after june 3rd look at that you got choices coming through and you got wish fulfillment so don't worry about how things are happening right now you guys um i feel like there's going to be you're going to cut the loss of one but it's not going to hurt you i really don't feel like it's going to hurt you yeah you, the tower moment you got a tower moment that you're going to be faced with, but that just tells us that it's not, it's not going to be very long. A huge Gemini um, confirmation in here. You guys might be dealing with another Gemini. All right. Um, but what I, what I see is desired outcome happening. Um, and, and if you guys do kind of suffer through a small tower moment, it's going to come and go. Um, so this is after June 3rd, it's going to come and go because the tower card is coming through in reverse. You guys, I'm leaving it there. Take care.